And I'm gonna hate myself editing this. <laughs> I don't know how I have it in me right now to vlog. So I'm in Khobar right now. Khobar right now. I'm in Khobar right, I'm in Khobar right now. Um, it's in the eastern province of Saudi. It's so pretty and it's so beautiful and I love the humidity. I'm gonna give you a room tour of my hotel. I was gonna get an Airbnb but they were more expensive. <laughs> and I got upgraded for some reason. So let me show you quick. Most of the hotels in Khobar are very like 70s 80s vibes like i don't know i feel like i have to have friends over now and then here's the bedroom so it's loud in here okay so i am wondering if i can walk to the beach because i don't have it in me to drive anymore because yesterday i was driving all day trying to get things done like and today i drove for four hours to get here so i just like don't want to drive anymore i have a headache I need to eat. Thankfully, I have food with me. Um, so everything is from Moonshell. I thought of this ahead of time. I would have gotten a container and filled it in. But these come this way anyways. And I got cheesecake, rice rolls. So you're probably wondering why I'm in Khobar. So I'm here for an event at Ithra. Ithra is like the art side of Aramku. And it's so pretty. I'm gonna show you the building tomorrow. And I feel like I forgot how to vlog. Hence why I'm rambling and I'm just like, I'm just hyped up. All right, oh God, I've been talking for seven minutes. Woo! Haven't been talking for four hours. <laughs> Good morning. I'm pretty happy. It's really cold though, and I didn't bring something that is that warm. I get cold easily. I have no idea what to expect today, and I just like my mind keeps going through possibilities of things going wrong. But when that happens, I think of the worst case scenario, and I find a solution, and then that calms me down and makes me realize that it's not big of a deal. I went to a gas station and they were out of gas. <laughs> Hopefully this one has some gas. I'm trying to find breakfast. I don't have much time and I have so many things I have to finish before the event. <laughs> So I got back to the hotel because I need to do some shooting so right before I left these products got in so I just took the box with me I'm just gonna take some photos I know they're not gonna be the best but <laughs> I'm working with what I've got so I'm using a towel as a backdrop since they're like soap and deodorant so I thought it's like fitting and then check this out I'm using the pillow as a reflector so you see now how there's a shadow? I put the pillow here. The shadow is still there, but it's like a lot less. I've been using these products for the last couple of weeks. Uh, months, I mean. I think four or five months because she sent me a sample. And I love them. The rose smells so good and it's made with Omani. Um, roses and then we have lavender soap um hopefully next time she'll have the frankincense which is like ban in arabic because that smells so good and again um it's local to oman they're very known for it i'm gonna head to ithra soon as soon as possible actually 
but look at the sea. Like whenever I'm stressed, I just look at the, to the sea and I'm calmed down. I'm almost done editing the photos. They're not the best, but it's better than nothing. Actually, I kind of like how this one turned out. Okay, I just got here. So now me and Badri are just setting up. It's pretty hectic, but I'm so excited. So many boxes everywhere. And then I brought some stickers. This is biodegradable plastic, so don't come up. Come at me in the comments. The booth is finally ready. I did a, what do you call them, a code for the website. And then we have the full tiers here. We have some of the brass spoons, the straws, husky cups, yoga mats. Lots of coconut bowls and coconut candles, the blanket, tote bags, makeup removers. I'm obsessed with these. The reusable tissues, the new razors that we got. They're brass razors and they're made to last you a lifetime. So they might seem expensive upfront, but when you think about it, you're saving so much money. Both of these are from Oman, natural, handmade. Toothbrushes. Hi. I am so tired. So I'm just sitting here at this restaurant at Ithra. It's pretty cool and they label everything on the menu, which is great. I ordered this vegan um, avocado sandwich and it has hummus. And it looks like it has balsamic. We have less than an hour left and then we're gonna close up. And I was so happy meeting everyone. Thank you for everyone that drove all the way here to say hi. It means so much. Um, and honestly, like when I hear people's words, I just like, even like when I read comments sometimes, it's just like really hard to believe sometimes. I said sometimes a lot, but thank you so much when you tell me that. It really makes me happy. Anyway, I need to go. Um, <clears throat> I feel bad for the girls. Hey guys. Okay, so I don't wanna leave. I really don't want to leave. It's so pretty. I love Khobar. And then I was at the Kurnesh this morning. I don't know how you pronounce that word in English because I've never said it in English. Now I'm at Align. Uh, me and Sara, she teaches here Pilates and yoga. Are gonna, I don't know, practice a little bit, I guess, and take some photos. <laughs> These swings play music as you swing. A lot, right? Like a dream. It's like once upon a December. Good morning. I'm so sleepy, but I couldn't keep on sleeping knowing that the beach is right out there. So I'm gonna go walk to the beach. My friend is still sleeping. Yeah, my friend came last night. I love her so much. I can tell her anything and not feel judged. Coming here, I realized how much of an introvert I am. I feel like I can't focus when a lot of people are around me.
traveling makes me so happy and like walking in new neighborhoods or like new cities, new towns makes me so happy. I'm really glad I woke up a bit earlier today. I have two yoga classes today and then I have to go to the bazaar at Ithra again. I get really excited when I see the booth like being super busy. I'm so happy. I really like it here. I think I said that a million times in this vlog. just had dinner at that Japanese restaurant. I met some new friends that I'm really happy about that because I'm planning to be here a lot more often. Tomorrow is the last day for the event at Ithra. But, look at my hair. It looks like I styled it and I never style my hair. You can't blame me for wanting to live here. I like it so much. Tomorrow I'm teaching three yoga classes. Today I taught two, tomorrow three. But each class is only one hour. Usually I teach an hour and a half. So it should be okay. I love teaching at a line. So it should be good. And I feel like this vlog is gonna be incredibly long. Hopefully not boring. By the way guys, being boring is one of my biggest fears and my biggest insecurities so i'm trying to work on that when i get a comment telling me that i'm boring or that video was well they don't say i'm boring they say the video is boring but i take it in a way that i am boring and that really hurts but i'm trying to let that go yalla nemshi <laughs> we are beyond sleepy. <laughs> Chef from Dilly's. I knew that we don't have time to go get some food and brought us some vegan goodies from them. So this is the vegan shawarma. Last day here. I'm gonna leave as soon as possible. Um, definitely gonna stop by the beach before I head to Riyadh. But the room is a mess. So I'm gonna pack real quick. And my, le my friend left an hour ago. She left me this gift. It's a candle. And I really enjoyed traveling with her. Anyway, so this has been one of the best weeks of my life and best trips ever. Um, the first couple of days and before I got here, I was so stressed because I didn't know what to expect and didn't know what to prepare and the bank kind of screwed me over. But it's all fine now. Everything got figured out. Things didn't happen. It was okay. And this is a plant that I got. Yeah, the car is filled with boxes <laughs> and most of the boxes in the car are like half full. Thank you so much to everyone that came. So I'm gonna try to organize the car a bit and try to have less boxes so I have place for my stuff. And I got some gifts. Let me show you. This tote bag. It's so cute. And a coloring book. 
she draws them um like i think on illustrator or something yeah so check her out support her the amount of things that i was planning to do here you would say that i was delusional i brought my oud with me i didn't even touch it um i was planning to find the gym here and go work out lol <laughs> The car is filled with boxes and it was worse when I got here When I was driving here, I could barely see through the rear mirror But I made sure that I do So now I need to reorganize this So I have a place for my suitcase um, Because last night we were in a hurry We are just so tired and it was so cold and windy last night So we just wanted to get out of there um, But now I'm gonna try to find a huge like garbage can and get a, get rid of at least like a box um the box some of the boxes are not recyclable not that recycling is reliable here yeah okay i think that's the box i can get rid of this one no need all set as i mentioned half of the boxes are empty and we could have managed better but i'm just gonna deal with it in real i have so many things i have to deal with in real got the plant next to me it's a bit sad we'll make her happy when we're back in real on the Adaya's husky cups i've been taking the soap and the natural deodorant with me every single day back to my room but some days um badria I uh, took them with her home, most of the days actually And um, Badri and Dalal, if you guys watch this Thank you so much I'm, I'm just so happy, I feel like I know this sounds cheesy, but I feel like there's so much love in my heart And I'm just so content, so happy, so grateful Alright, let's go back to... Real <laughs> I feel like I, I need to move by the sea. It's real windy. It's annoying, honestly. Like, the car kind of swerves. And I... All of a sudden got sleepy Anyway, I stopped at a gas station to fill up gas and Get some water go to the restroom because it's probably gonna take me More than three hours. Just the sound of the wind is stressful But it's fine. Um, I don't know why people are putting dish soap at the front of their car um, I guess so it doesn't get scratched from the sand and like rocks <laughs> so funny <laughs> he finished an entire bottle on his car <laughs> and it's like neon yellow <laughs> interesting uh, it's admirable how much guys care about their cars anyway yeah so i'm gonna fill up gas okay you hear okay I just got back to real. It's so crowded <laughs> And I miss the beach I need to start a new chapter in my life, you know? Go somewhere new
بشر لحظات أسمع بها صوتك بيرتاح بالي إلا ما يكفيني معك بعض الأوقات 